Speaker wire. What type do you get? How do you hook it up? We'll tell you how. The speaker wire is measured by gauge. The smaller the gauge rating, the thicker the wire. We recommend 12 gauge copper speaker wire. Wire thinner than 18 gauge can produce excess heat and resistance, which can change the sound of the speakers. Before inserting your wire into the connections, be sure to strip some of the insulation off the end of the wire to allow a proper connection. The terminals are the positive and negative connections to which your speaker wires will connect to the speaker and amplifier. These are normally color-coded in black and red. Terminals come in a number of different types, like spring clips. These terminals have a spring-loaded clip holding the wires in place. To connect wires to these connectors, push the clip down and insert the wire into the hole. Once the clip is released, it will hold the wire in place. These are often found on older and entry-level equipment. Then, there's binding posts. Binding posts will consist of a post with a threaded cap. Loosen the cap until you can see a hole running from one side of the post to the other. Insert the wire through this hole and tighten the cap. Some binding posts may not have a hole through them. In that case, wrap the wire around the binding post and tighten the cap. If the speaker has two sets of posts with a pin or bridge between them, you can connect them like so. These speakers have two sets of posts, so they can be bi-wired. Bi-wiring is when the receiver connects to the speaker with not one, but two sets of wires. This enables the receiver to power the low-frequency driver and the combined high-frequency drivers separately, resulting in improved bass response and treble smoothness. To bi-wire speakers, you will need to remove the bridge plates or pins between the binding posts and connect the two sets of speaker wire to the amplifier. Then, connect one set of wires to the top set of binding posts and the other set to the bottom. If you're frequently moving your speakers or you simply want a simpler way to plug them in, you can use banana plugs, like so. For more great videos from Fluence, be sure to subscribe or click here.